What's up, Weeboo gang? What's up? How are you guys? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> How are you, Jan Michael? I'm doing well. Yeah, we had I nice guess. rain today. We had some nice rain yeah. for like the past four days. Yeah, wash away that pollen. Dude, fucking pollen, man. Pollen. Do you guys have pollen where you're from? Yeah. Like, I'm sure you guys have pollen where you're from. But do, you guys, like? do you guys have so much that your car gets covered in pollen? and that you can't really wash your car because the next day pollen will be all over. You like go outside and you see like a, a, a dust ball of pollen. It's mm -hmm. like that. It's wild. Oh, but um... Dude, me and, dude I, I have this leaf blow uh -huh. and like I blow out all the pollen's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> and I always sneeze afterwards. God, I could like feel it affecting me right now the more I talk about it. But um, <laughs> we're back with Baki! Yeah, we're back with Baki and actually... It's the season finale. <laughs> wow, I like didn't even know we were even close to the season finale until he texted me like, dude, we're at like the few last episodes. Like, oh shit. You sounded very surprised when you said oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. But yeah, we're about to move to season two and I don't know. I think they left us at a cliffhanger last episode. Yeah. Mr. Steer, your girl from Russia came in. That's true, right at the end. And he stole yep. his girl. He really did. And we're about to see what Baki does about it, but... Mr. Steer's your girl. I feel like <laughs> if there was that cliffhanger, I feel like we're gonna get another cliffhanger. But thankfully, season two is already out. Yeah, I'll start with that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then um, Dorian succumbed to a defeat. Oh, dude, yeah, Dorian was defeated. <laughs> yeah. It was so sad. He was like, God, I always wanted candy. I know, he's like a little kid now. I wanted more, but Daddy only gave me one piece. <laughs> you really take me to get candy? <laughs> that was actually really sad. He was like a little kid who yeah. always wanted more. Mm -hmm. And then his whole life, he was always chasing him. Never got it. Fucking sad. Never got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the end of his life. <laughs> oh, um. This is pretty crazy. I, yeah. I want to see this Russian dude fight because we saw him at he saw we saw him do what he did to that group of like policemen. Yeah, like, yeah. Were dude. they policemen? They were like escort policemen people, right? Something. Yeah. They're they're kind of sketchy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited that like we get to see some Baki finally though. Yeah, I want to see how strong Baki is. Yeah, me too, dude. Finally. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Let's get into it. All right, Baki episode thirteen. Right. Here we go. I want you to come to my room, Baki. <laughs> Just wait ten minutes. Nicely and quietly. Do you get the picture? Am I making the situation? Shit, his hand is huge. Bro, his hand is like the size of her. <laughs> it's literally one hand. Like not even his hand, but his palm. Yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes if you understand. Oh, she's crying. Oh, how? Mm, that's a good girl. Yes, I know. I believe that you will. You don't have to convince me. I can tell just by looking at you. <laughs> You're Bro. big enough and strong enough that you Smart can girl. Do it. And your eyes tell me that you would do it. I raised my voice. You'll kill my mother and me. Damn, bro. She got some great analysis skills. Mm hmm. Believe in someone else just as much. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fox is about to break through the wall. Yes. She's willing to wait 10 minutes, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Dude, is so perfect timing. You're a dead man. Come on, Baki. Oh my gosh. So, you like to watch? Yo, he was about to rock her fucking world. <laughs> I don't know what part you're talking about right now. You're talking about Baki no, or yeah, like yeah, right? before Baki came. Uh, I'm beginning to work. Oh shit. Go, Baki. Oh, man. Excuse 
mistake setting foot in this house. He's so mad. Aki, don't do it in front of them. You'll scare them. <laughs> oh shit! Dude, don't do this in front of them. <laughs> Nice, he threw him out of the house. Smart. All right, then, let's finish this. Wait, Bucky. Oh, don't worry. This won't take long. <laughs> Damn. That's my boyfriend. He threw him right out of his coat. <laughs> Disappeared. Shit! What the hell? Huh? Oh, no! Uh No! Matsumoto. Where's Kozwe? Where is she? He's taken her. He's taken Kozwe. <sighs> so I made a huge mistake, did I? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Your boyfriend may be the champ. But to me, he is nothing more than just a snotty-nosed kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy's voice. <laughs> He's nothing more than a snotty -nosed. Metropolitan Dude, Police Department. I, I did a horrible expression. I sound like a vampire. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> I've come to stop you. To find some way of dealing with the escaped <laughs> death row. Finish that sentence. I've come to stop you. Blood. Of the rising sun. Chief Inspector Morio Sonoda. Of the Japanese Metropolitan Police. Commissioner Hide Nobunago, also Hide of the Nago. Metropolitan Police. John Spencer, Deputy Attorney General of the United States. Also from the United States, FBI Director Bart Allen. He looks from like the, the Russian United dude. <laughs> Lord Chief Justice Julius Shit, Norton. I wonder if James Bond's gonna make appearance. And from the Russian Federation, <laughs> MI6. former KGB officer Valentin Sokolov. As you see in the provided materials, two of the escapees are now in our custody. Of course, we're doing everything in our power to find and capture the remaining three. But despite the fact that the Metropolitan Police have the highest arrest rate of any police force in the world, we're finding the task more difficult than anticipated. These men have claimed six lives since they arrived in our country. But I'm not here to point fingers. Even though most of them escaped from your prisons. <laughs> Gentlemen, we need your assistance. Here in Japan, I believe you have a saying similar to the English expression <laughs> fight fire with fire. Director Allen. I've heard stories about a certain inmate at a penitentiary in Arizona. Huh? Oh, dude, I was reading about this guy. You were. I was reading about him on the manga. So I'm like a uh, hundred fifty chapters in. That is fact. <laughs> the only way you really know where he is at any given time is by monitoring his movements via satellite. What's more, I've heard he enjoys quite a lifestyle when he is behind bars. Mr. Sokolov, you know quite a bit about a subject my government would prefer to keep confidential. <laughs> yes, this person you refer to, if he exists, might indeed be the magic bullet we're looking for to solve our problem. But to ask the FBI to rely on the services of a ruthless criminal like that? No, it's absolutely out of the question. Good God, how would it look? Really, now? This magic bullet, as you call him, is just what we need. Honestly, is this any time to be worried about appearances? Mr. Sokolov, you have no idea what he's capable of. This man, Oliver, is a monster. Yeah. <sighs> Heaven help us all. <laughs> oh, shit. What is this? What the hell are they getting us into? <laughs> The biggest criminals in the world. Yeah, okay, they got cheeseburgers. <laughs> cheeseburger oh, and criminals. Cheeseburger sounds so good. Mr. Sonoda? Welcome, sir. 
Your halls, Ben? Michael Halls from the penitentiary. I'm Chief Warden. I'm sure you'd like nothing more right now than a shower, a rest, and a cold beer. <laughs> but I'm afraid we have to head straight out to the penitentiary. Don't worry about that was such a nice way to shake hands. <laughs> I've heard that Americans aren't too fond of working this is actually, overtime, like, so, so I cool to see, like, animated. Yeah. Like, um, like when you're, like, because you read it. Understand. Well, I didn't read this Mr. part yet, because I'm only on the first, uh, overtime. like, the Baki Son of Ogre. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Um, he knew that I was but coming. They have this There's very little that Mr. scene they're driving through, like, know. drawn out. Yeah. Um, I don't want to explain this. This guy's a pretty funny this. character. He knows everything. Yeah, dude, I just, I'm, I'm seeing the black and white right now from the long It's me. You should read it with me. Yeah, dude. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Nervous. Name and ID, please. <laughs> Seems like a fairly typical correctional facility. <laughs> like so far, <laughs> like the first like hundred chapters was dedicated to that. You're lazy, <laughs> shit. <laughs> like this, this was like a whole like story arc. <laughs> yeah, so this is like important. Yeah. So well, well as he pleases, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's important. Everything's important. <laughs> He comes and goes as he pleases. What sort of monster is this, Oliver? This place is starting to give me the creeps. <laughs> okay, you'll continue on your own from here. Here's <laughs> Mr. Oliver's request. Oh, how? Wow. <laughs> He's living large. What is this? Real. Places like a palace. This carpeting. This artwork. I don't know much about art. But some of these look like masterpieces. Why? <laughs> this guy lives like a freaking king. <laughs> That's wild. He's a prisoner, but living like that. Come on in. <laughs> Has he been watching me the whole time? Ah, welcome, oh, Inspector. Sorry to drag you in here straight from the plate. Looking like a straight thumb. Dude, he's like a pimp. He's huge. It's all muscle. And not an ounce of fat on him either. Damn, boy. The man's a towering mountain of pure muscle. Look like dinosaur hands, dude. Mm -hmm. The name's Oliver. I should have let you rest before meeting you, but I'm kind of an <laughs> He's fucking guy. arm, dude. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> Shit. Who's in charge of this prison? The warden or this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this big screen TV. Champagne, wow. Inspector. Wow. Damn. He got some Budweiser. Japanese import? No. Thank you. <laughs> this isn't the best, but... It's not half bad. An inmate who's allowed alcohol? She gets a whole ass bar. <laughs> He's like, this shit wouldn't happen in Japan. <laughs> I wonder if Japan has Savage. a prison like this in, in this series. That'd be cool. They all have secret, luxury, secret inmate. Yeah. Take a seat, Inspector Sonoda. I guess I shouldn't be surprised he knows my name. Even if he can come and go as he pleases, why would he? This cell is like a luxury hotel suite. <laughs> Relax. Make yourself comfortable. 
Just look at that monstrosity of an arm. <laughs> it's like a side of beef. <laughs> this guy has side not. Beef. It's like he's not. Has, he has not oh, stopped man, talking about his guy's muscle <laughs> since he entered the room. Well, I'm not quite sure where to begin. He's he's been astounded Why by beauty. Why given free run of this joint, for example? A uh, good place to start. So why? Is one of the perks I get for being an excellent big game hunter. <sighs> Criminals are the big game I hunt, and there is nobody better than I am at bagging them. As a matter of fact, most of the inmates here at Arizona State Penitentiary were captured by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Normally, I would have said you're full of crap. But seeing the kind of VIP treatment you get in here. The authorities have decided it makes more sense to use me as a hunter rather than just keep me locked up in here. And I can't say I really blame them for their decision. Can you? It doesn't bother you at all? Hunting down criminals like that? I mean, isn't that like breaking some kind of criminal code? You're a <laughs> snitch. He's a narc. Too? Yeah, what's up? This is not the way to run a prison. You're in luck, Sonoda. We're going hunting. <laughs> we are? We got a helicopter and everything. That's lit. So where are we going? We're headed to the scene of the crime. Huh? Sweet mother of God. Ready? Mr. Oliver! What is that? That? I made the other inmates paint it. <laughs> Looks just like <laughs> That's it. hilarious. Well, except I had them give me a little more hair. <laughs> and they putting up a billboard of themselves on a prison wall? <laughs> Amazing, I know. <laughs> it's blowing my mind. <laughs> He looks like an ass beater, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like he Target could beat anybody up. Sweet. What the hell have I gotten myself into? Oh shit. We have around 15 victims at minimum. Most of them were in the first floor lobby when the blast went off. How many suspects are we looking at? Only one that we know of. One. You're telling me that a single perp took this building? The assault was planned. Well, he's so pale. Shit. It's like a ghost. Mm -hmm. What sort of weapons were used? Explosives, automatic weapons, even a knife. And the hostages? There are about 20 of them being held on the top floor. It's like yeah. more, but some of them God, to... I keep bringing up Batman, but I feel, I feel like at this point everything can be related to Batman. Man, yeah. <laughs> this is like the Dark Knight. Just one. <laughs> Hostages on his hot floor. Everything starts from Batman. Right? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oliver, I had no idea that you were involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> Mischievous laughter. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you can go now. I'll handle it from here. <laughs> Is he crazy? What's he doing? <laughs> he just like lifts the whole building. It's hilarious. <laughs> I like how he's like how he's dressed when he goes and hunts people. It's like he's just out <laughs> for a vacation. stroll. I know. You know. It's like at a beach beach resort. Are these shirts custom? <laughs> <laughs> Been wanting to see you again, Mr. Oliver. Remember me? Jeff Marks, New York State Police. He's an ex cop. Whoa, what Summer, to him? 24 years ago. 8th Avenue, Manhattan. I was an enterprising guy back then. Used to make a little on the side by shaking down hippies and such. Then yeah. one day you showed up and decided to stick your nose into it. I thought I was pretty good at martial arts, but you taught me different. Oh, Boy, did you do a number on me? Destroyed oh my, my face, god. My arms, my legs. You just about obliterated my entire body. All he had to do is punch him one time. You 
can't begin to imagine what my life's been like since the Are you okay? that to me. <coughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> really means a lot to me. As you probably Dude, these voice see, actors are like so good. Yeah, they are good. <laughs> like, you know, not the knock you or anything. Not that pretty good, like voice adaptation. And it's too late now, in any case. <laughs> but you've been smart to finish me <laughs> off 20 years ago when you had the chance. <laughs> no, you've got it all wrong. You're like a fine wine bottled 20 years ago. Now you're perfectly aged, ready to be poured from the bottle and savored. I can hardly wait to draw the cork. That's a nice compliment. <laughs> okay, Strip, take off your clothes, and I mean everything top to bottom. <laughs> this guy really need, like, does he need a weapon? <laughs> I know. Ooh. Jesus. Look at the size of you. It's no wonder I didn't stand a chance against you back then, huh? I'll give you one thing. You got guts for showing up like you did. <laughs> did you see? Let's he get this little reunion of ours started. Have a little smile. <laughs> Let's see what happens when you Jesus, what? Holy shit, dude. I thought that wouldn't work. <laughs> Why would you even think that? Wild. His muscles so dense it can't even go past Looks it. like you should have brought a bigger gun. Don't you think, Jeff? <laughs> Did you really think a shotgun was gonna do the job? <laughs> Looks like he's wearing shorts. But I mean, you bad. might as well have tried to bring down a bull <laughs> elephant with a pea shooter. Thought that might happen. Oh, you did, huh? So you've got something else up your sleeve. Don't tell me you're giving up now. Not after all your hard work. Oh, sword. <laughs> well, aren't you the sneaky little devil? <laughs> like a famous saying, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> it's almost like he like down there. Yeah, he says done and then he brought out the sword. Guess you weren't aware I have a steel plate over my heart. Damn. Damn thing stuck. Okay, now you're starting to bore me. He's the one punch. He's the one punch man. What? Wow. Bro, that's the season finale. That was the season finale and we didn't even get to see Bucky! I know, they keep... What the They hell? keep doing this to us, dude. They keep teasing us I with know. Bucky. And we never get it. We never get it. <laughs> We've literally seen him like, maybe like 20 minutes combined of Bucky. Not even. Not even, probably, maybe yeah. that episode was 20 minutes, but... Yeah. Dude, the most action we saw was when he was in high school, like, doing the track stuff. Yeah, that's true! And he was, like, excelling yeah. and... Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, the other fights are still good, but... It's just it's what just it is. It's kind of like a tease. I know. Like, why call it Baki if you're not gonna Baki? Should, this should be called Baki... Uh, Baki, Baki and Center. Friends. Yeah, Baki and Friends. But, like, Baki's, like, really small. Yeah. <laughs> and Friends is huge, yeah. But what'd you think of the episode? I thought that this episode was pretty good um, in terms of like action, I guess. But I, I did like the past few episodes a little more, I think. I like the new introduction of this character. He's Oliver? Though. Yeah. He's sweet, Oliver. dude. Yeah. I literally read a hundred chapters about him. 
Literally, That's I didn't funny. know there was a hundred chapters on this guy. He's strong, <laughs> like, is, I wonder if he's stronger than Baki. I don't know. You should really read the manga, but... Yeah, I might have to. I don't know if that will ruin the story, but it's kind of like enhancing my experience of this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you did probably the end. I do, so. I have it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably enhance, like, us watching it. Yeah, like, they yeah. kind of go through things really fast. Mm -hmm. Like they just showed that jail and then there's like this whole story behind that jail. Oh, yeah, see. And like, um, that's pretty much all I know because I'm only on book one, so. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I, I probably will start watching it, but what did you think about this episode? Um, or reading I, it? I thought it was pretty good. I'm like, I didn't really, the first time I watched it, I was like, whoa, that guy's big. And I'm, now I'm like, whoa, that guy's a big deal. <laughs> He had a hundred chapters on him. <laughs> he's a big deal. Yeah, it seems like he's gonna be like a big part of the upcoming season, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just left us with that. But um, did you like this episode more than the past few ones? That was kind of like a little bit of like a tease episode. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give it like, I'll give it like a 7.5 or something. Okay. But I don't know, like, I, mean, I feel like this this series has, has been like on a trend mm -hmm. where they like tease, 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 tease. Edge, edge, and, edge. Yeah, edge, 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 edge. And then there's a pop, <laughs> and then there's more edge, 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 edge. <laughs> the pop can mean whatever you mean, whatever you want. Whatever you want that pop to mean. But yeah, I agree with you. Like, um, it has just been edging us, playing it's with us. A roller coaster. It's a little roller coaster. Yeah, like that, like that episode air ride. <laughs> Yeah, Dorian. Yeah, but I like it, I'm into it. Um, I give it like a seven. You give it a seven? I give it a seven. Damn, bro. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Good. Yeah, it was, I have no argument with that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a 7.5. If you rate it rated like a six, I'd be like, whoa. That'd be kind of low, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, a seven. A, a solid seven. Yeah. But I'm excited for next season. I mean, it's honestly staring at us right now. It's like season one part two episode 14. You're just one click away from it. But I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Um, Would you rate it? Let us know if you're excited about Mr. Oliver joining. Yeah. And if you're kind of disappointed that Bucky didn't fight just some guys. I know. Um, so yeah, comment down below. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Believe it. No. I'm gonna be the next Hokage. <laughs> Come on, you pervy sage. Talking no jutsu. That's my ninja way.